Bowman here from BW1.com, and we're going to do some benchmark tests with the Samsung Galaxy S3. I know you guys are looking forward to benchmark tests. We don't usually do it that often, but this is a highly anticipated device with some really powerful hardware, so we decided to give this little test here a shot here for you guys. So we're going to be doing uh, benchmarks between the Galaxy S3 for AT&T, you see the AT&T logo there, and the Galaxy S3 for T-Mobile. They pretty much have the same process, the Snapdragon S4 processor with two gigabytes of RAM. What pretty much is the difference between the two of them is their antennas inside of it. This one has a LTE and the T-Mobile one has HSPA plus 42 megabits. So we're going to do that benchmark. We're going to do a few others, but what we're going to start off with here is um, I'm going to head back home here. We're going to start off with the quadrant standard benchmark test. You can see we one ran one in the past and we're going to run another one again here for you. Just give me a second here as we pull them both up. And um, we, we'll see how fast the benchmarks go. If it starts going a little bit slow, we're gonna go on ahead and kind of skip over it here a little bit. So let's see here as I find quadrant benchmark on the quadrant standard there. We did a benchmark there earlier. So I'm gonna try to hit these both at the same time and see if we can get them going. The same time and go. Ah, just off a little bit, but we'll go ahead and let these benchmarks run. Okay, as you can see here, we have both benchmarks done here. The AT&T scored 3,333, so quadruple threes there, right below the Transformer Prime and HTC One X. Those are both quad-core based uh, devices, and while this has a dual core inside of it, and the eight, I'm sorry, the T-Mobile version here, this actually got a score of 3325, so just a little bit under it there between two scores. And we're gonna go ahead and save these, uh, screenshot these and put these up on the website. All you gotta do is take a screenshot, just go like this. Boom, screenshot done. Really cool feature I like inside the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. All right, now that we've taken those screenshots, we're gonna go ahead and head home here on both of them, and we're gonna do another benchmark test. This one is called AN22. I think that's how you pronounce it, AN22. Let's go ahead and find it on here. There you go, right there, little bunny rabbit. We'll open up both of them here. And let's see, we did a benchmark previously with this one. Go back here to the test. Go back here to test here. And you saw there were some scores there previously, but we're gonna do this one more time. Try and hit these both at the same time. And go. All right, we see the benchmarks finished there for N22. You can see here the AT&T Galaxy S3 comes in at 5,220. And while the uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S3 comes in just a little bit a little bit lower at 5,019 there for the benchmark, so a little bit of a bigger disparity there, but um, it could be the difference between HSPA and LTE, I'm not sure there, but this is why we're doing the bench benchmarks right here. So go ahead and uh, see where you can see where they rank here in the list chart. Galaxy S3 at the top, HTC One X, Asus Transformer Prime, but those are all the quad-core versions, of course. So I'm gonna go home once more and do one more benchmark test here, and that is speed test. Now, speed test can obviously vary between uh, what location you're in and such. We're here right now, actually in New York in the Brooklyn area. So we're gonna go do our speed test via here. So we'll make sure we change the settings here, all right. So we're gonna go, we're gonna restart the test because we did a test previously. You can see here on LTE, we got 20 down and about 10 up. And here on uh, HSPA Plus, five down and one up. So let's see if that changes here as we retake this test one more time. All right, and there we go. So it looks like we have here for benchmarks, we have the AT&T with LTE coming in at 17 down and about 14 up. And what's coming here with the T-Mobile HSPA Plus is seven down and one up. So definitely significantly slower here on the HSPA Plus version, but this is 42 megabits HPS Plus, so it might not be in this area that we might be able to get that fast speed. Might need to go closer into the city to get the faster speeds here. But you can see here with LTE, you pretty much got the speeds that you normally would expect when you, when you have an LTE device here. So, 
that's just a quick benchmark test of the Samsung Galaxy S3, the US versions, and just a little bit of a verse between the T-Mobile and the 18, I mean, AT&T and T-Mobile versions there. Really, the only difference is, is that the fact that this has HSPA Plus versus LTE, but that might make a little bit of difference here. That might help you decide which one you want to get if you're going to get an LTE version, which Sprint, um, AT&T, and Verizon is selling, or you want to go with the HSPA Plus, which is what the... Uh, which is what T-Mobile is selling, but also there's LTE available, I believe, on the US cellular version as well, too. So if you're in that area, you might want to grab it from there. But that's just a quick benchmark here. We're going to have plenty more coverage of the Samsung Galaxy S3. I have a ton of coverage already, so definitely check out the main website for that. We'll have a review up, um, some more, you know, how-to samples, things like that. So definitely stay tuned. Subscribe to our YouTube page here. Follow us on Twitter. Become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Also check us out all of the social networking and our main website at bw1.com to link to that. All social media is in the description and always remember to live your tech world in high definition.